This is Red Feather from Grephax again. I just wanted to show you, uh, and also tell you, I went into the uh, Ubuntu software store, went over to the uh, to leave a comment on Caden Live. On, uh, you know, I was going to leave quite a good comment because Caden Live has been working out right for me. Um, and uh, I've been shooting my videos in a little bit of an obscure way. That's why you see a lot of camera movement. Well, I decided to uh, try some uh, a uh, video screen capture tool. It's called Boco Screen. If I can, uh, probably tell I'm using my phone to make to make my videos, and for the most part, the, uh, my iPhones worked great. But I try something a little different when I can uh, by using this Boco Screen. According to what it's saying is that it, that it's uh, pretty good for uh, Linux and Ubuntu, so we'll see what it does. It's one of the pictures, by the way. There. Let's see what else we got. I do a nice little review from the get-go. Show you what I'm seeing. And in case you've never been into an Ubuntu store, uh, this is a great opportunity for you to uh, see what some of the programs look like. When you're looking them over, you can see where we're going to be able to adjust our area and all that stuff. Looks pretty interesting. Gonna try it out. Well, wish me luck. Wow, uh, take a look at this, guys. This is extreme, man. This is gonna turn my videos up a notch. I really like the program. Easy to use. All you gotta do is, once you're done recording, you hit the stop button and there's a play button to the right and if you're using KDN, uh, KDN Live KDN Live it jumps right the software jumps right into KDN Live for an awesome uh, video the only problem is the buttons aren't func functioning properly for whatever reason and so what I decided to do is, instead of having the program minimized, just leaving the program up, I can kind of work around that. And this way you can hit stop quickly, or play quickly, whatever you know, whatever feature you want to do. Um, of course I'm using the AVI function in the program. I'll probably do a little bit further in-depth video on this. I just wanted to get this video out there quick to show you the uh, essential improvements I'm, I'm ma making to make my videos better. And uh, we also improve all, um, rather we appreciate all our viewers and, and subscribers. And this looks like it's going to be a, a really awesome program. Of course, I'm also going to be working on my uh, vocals a little bit. It will be, give me more uh, uh, time to concentrate on my vocals. Sometimes I I uh, might run a little bit behind on the vocals and a little bit slow. Sometimes I try to go slow on purpose because I've noticed watching other videos, people go very fast or they talk so fast. And you get totally confused at what's actually going on. And I believe a good how-to video or DIY or whatever type of video you do, I think that they should go slow enough 
but fast enough. Slow enough so you can understand, but fast enough so it doesn't take all day. Obviously, time is of the essence. Well, I hope you have a great day and have enjoyed this and that you'll like and subscribe. And please uh, also see our link to Dynamic Bit Technologies.